Hey y'all, this is T.R. McCoy coming at you with another video. Uh, today I'm going to go over uh, football scores. This was a sad day in the NFL. The Cowboys lost to the Cardinals. Sad day. Sad day. But let's get on with it. We had uh, 49ers over the Giants, 30 to 12. We had the Dolphins over the Broncos, 70 to 20. Wow. Dolphins is the fourth team in the NFL history to score 70 points or more. We had the uh, Chargers over the Vikings, 28 24. We had the Bills over the Commanders, 37 3. We had the Chiefs over the Bears, 41 to 10. We had the Cowboys, uh, we had the Cardinals, 28-16 over the Cowboys. We have the Eagles, 25 over the back, 25-11 over the back, uh, the back Buccaneers. We had the Browns, 27 over the Titans, 27-3. We had the Lions, 20-6 over the Falcons. We had the Packers, 18 over the Saints, 17. We had the Patriots, 15 over the Jets, 10. We had the Texans, 37, Jaguars, 17. We had the Colts over the Ravens, 22-19. We had the Seahawks over the Panthers, 37-27. We had the Steelers over the Raiders, 23-18. And we had the Bengals over the Rams, 19-16. Let's talk about Denver and and the Miami game. That was a bad look for Sean Payton, the Denver coach, to keep Russell Wilson in the game throughout the whole, man, look, you down 70, 70 points going into the fourth quarter. I don't know, it was 70, uh, it was, the total of the game was 70 to 20, but you had, Miami up 50 points. Ain't no way they're going to come back and, 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 and win and make a comeback. So why would you leave your starting quarterback in? That, that's like, that wasn't a good look for the Denver Broncos. That wasn't a good look as the head coach, leaving your starting quarterback, which is, uh, he's making a whole lot of money, and you're gonna leave him in the game to get hurt or, or anything, that's not a bad, that's not a good look. And so I won't be surprised if Russell Wilson is not in Denver next year. I don't think him and him and him and Sean Payton is seeing eye to eye. So I don't think that's that that story is gonna to last too too much longer. Okay, let's get into week four lineup. We got the Dolphins going against the Bills. They got the Bills two and a half points favorite. We got Washington going against the Eagles. That's a division game. Uh, they got the Eagles eight and a half points. We got the Vikings going against the Panthers. They got the Vikings three and a half points. We got the Patriots going against the Cowboys. They got the Cowboys seven and a half points. We got the Cardinals going against the 49ers. They got the 49ers 14 points. We have the Chiefs going against the Jets. They're giving the Chiefs nine and a half points. We got the Seahawks going against the Giants. They got the Giants uh, one point. We got the Lions going against the Packers. They got the Lions uh, one and a half points. We got the Falcons going against the Jaguars. They're giving the Jaguars three points. We got Denver going against the Bears. Both teams are three and no. They're giving the Broncos three and a half points. We got the Ravens going against the Browns. They're giving the Browns three points. We got the Bengals going against the Titans. They're giving the Titans two and a half points. We got the Rams going against the Colts. They're giving the Colts one point. We got the Buccaneers going up against the Saints. They're giving the Saints three and a half points. We have the Steelers going against the Te Texans. They're giving the Steelers three and a half points. And then we have the Raiders going against the Chargers. They're giving the Chargers five and a half points. So that's week number four. But let's just talk about, let's get back to my Cowboys. 
Um, I'm sort of kind of happy they lost early in the season because um, that game they played was like like a meltdown. Like like y'all didn't practice y'all didn't practice the week before because they started off bad and it just went all downhill. Nothing was going right. The Cardinals was running on them. The quarterback was passing on them, and that's like the second, third string quarterback. You know what I mean? Made him look good. Made my boys look like, what is going on? But, um, hey, that's football. Any given Sunday, uh, your favorite team could lose. Even the favorite team could lose. They're all professionals. Hey, they lost. They, they got embarrassed, matter of fact. They really was embarrassed. Uh, it was a bad look for the Cowboys. So, hopefully this week they um, they get back on track. So, Hey, listen, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Cowboy fan till the end. So you got to take the take the losses with the wins. This was a loss. It was a hard loss. Um, I'm glad they lost early in the season. It doesn't, you're not saying the, uh, the game don't mean nothing, but I'm glad they lost early in the season. They can get it together. They can look at the tapes and see what they did wrong and, and go from there. You know, also... Uh, Colorado, Prime's team, Saunders, Coach Saunders, they took a beating, which which was expected for them to lose against Oregon, and which which they lost. Oregon looked good. Uh, uh, Colorado was a young team, and and it showed. This week they're going against another uh, top ten team. They're playing USC, and USC as a dynamite quarterback. So we just have to wait and see. I know uh, USC is the favorite, and I'm thinking they got them 20-something points. I'm not sure. I didn't look, but let's see how they do. You know what I mean? I don't, I, I'm not expecting them to be the top 10 team, but let's hope they play better this week than they did last week. You know what I mean? You know, it's, hey, it's, 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 it's football. You know what I mean? They're a young team. They rebuild them. Let's see what they look like. Don't everybody, uh, they lost. They lost. They took a beating. I mean, they took a beating. I think the quarterback, Shador uh, Sanders' son, I think he got shacked something like seven times. They couldn't keep, you know, hey, it shows, you know, it just shows you, showed you their weaknesses. And hopefully they, um, they'll get better. You know what I mean? They'll get better. Not making excuses from them. And they're, they're, they're one of their star players was out. He's going to be out for the next couple of weeks. You know what I mean? But hey, that's football. I hope they better. I hope they play better this week than what they did last week. So that's all we can hope for. Now let me give you. Let me give you the NCAA, the top twenty-five. Going into week. Week four. Let me see if I got this right. Week four standing, let me tell you. Okay, top 25. They got Georgia at number one. They got Michigan at number two. They got Texas at number three. They got Ohio State at number four. They got Florida State at number five. They got Penn State number six. That's a hometown team. They got Washington number seven. They got USC as number eight. Wow. And they got Oregon number nine. Oregon game up two spots. Utah, number 10. They got Notre Dame, number 11. They got Alabama, number 12. They got LSU, 13. They got Oklahoma, 14. They got North Carolina at 15. They got Washington at 16. They got Duke at 17. They got Miami. The Hurricanes at 18. They got Oregon State at 19. They got Mississippi at 20. They got Tennessee at 21. They got Florida at 22. They got Missouri at 23. They got Kansas at 24. And Fresno State at 25. So um, that's what I got for y'all. I'm looking forward to our next, the Cowboys' next game. I'm hoping they rebound and get back on track so we can shut up all the haters. You know, everybody likes to see the Cowboys lose. I don't know why, but everybody, I think deep down inside, they really want to be Cowboy fans. Because when they lose, it's like world news. The Cowboys lost. Like, psh, come on, y'all. 
But anyway, I would like for you to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. And I say again, subscribe to my channel. All right? I love you. God loves you. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out, y'all.